Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited for this, you guys. As you know, we're doing a deck flip through and this is a tarot deck that's not even released yet, but you can pre-order it now. This is the Grimalkin's Curious Cats Tarot, an 80 card deck and guidebook. And this is by MJ Cullinan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is coming out in April. And I got this today in my Hay House Card Deck Club, or the Card Deck Club by Hay House. You get new release decks there. It's so awesome. There's a wait list. I just opened it on my other channel, Kitty's Boxes. Um, I will link that video down below if you guys want to check it out to see what the subscription's about and maybe get on the wait list if you are interested. Uh, so yeah, I got three decks. I'm just going to be going through one today, this one right here, but I'll be um, doing deck flip throughs for the others as well. I was seriously just talking to a friend about how I need a cat deck in my life and then one appeared like two days later. I love when that happens. <laughs> I'm so excited. I peeked at a few cards in the other video and I just wanted to keep diving in and I can't wait. So we're just going to go into it now. So this is by Hay House and it is $29.99 in the US or $39.99 Canadian. It looks like the art is also by MJ Cullinan and the box designs by Nick Welsh. And let's see what it says here. With one paw in the world of catnip toys and belly rubs and another in the world of stalking prey and disappearing into the landscape, cats exist in a liminal space between domestic and wild, captive and free. They are mysterious shapeshifters, loyal familiars, and self-appointed rulers over the humans. They... De they deign to grace with their company and many of us will happily submit to their rule for a few cuddles so true <laughs> from scrounging alley cats to well-fed fat cats and hairless cats to giant puffballs grimalkin's curious cats tarot is positively perfect <laughs> deck for any cat lover each of the rider weight smith style cards in this deck depict cats along with their own furry fool's journey the good the bad the graceful and the goofy awesome so Grimalkin, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, please, in the comments, but is a term or word coined by Shakespeare, and it means gray cat. Um, I think, it, was it even his cat's name? I'm not sure, but it's related to Shakespeare, means gray cat, and also this could be used to refer to an untidy woman. <laughs> I looked it up uh, before filming, I was like, oh, that's funny, of course, like, cat's an untidy woman. <laughs> um, so, it's a two-piece box, really nice. This is so cute. Slip Beyond the Veil on Silent Cat Paws. <laughs> I love the coloring. And look, there's a cat on the side of the box, too. Love that. A Grimalkin, a great cat. <laughs> so cute. So I'm just going to put these to the side. So we're going to go card by card, then we'll shuffle and get a... Uh, a little mini reading and one card pull for the collective and then take a look at the guidebook as well but I love the backing you guys I think this is so beautiful so you can read reversals I love that it has the moon love the color and a good size guidebook so cute and you guys I believe um, that the cats featured in this deck are actual people's cats. Because when I looked earlier, like on each of the cards, it says dedicated to someone. Um, we will see. But well, let's take a look at the contents here. So there's an introduction, preparing to use your deck, card spreads, questions from the cats of the Major Arcana. And it goes through all the cards and then about the author. And this is the same author as the Crow Tarot. So black and white. Oh, cool. So it gives um, some card spreads and it lets you know yes or no if you want some guidance, if you're just doing one card poll for a quick question. The meow spread. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then some questions. Oh my God, this is really nice. And then it gives a good detailed description with some positive and negative energy attributes. Awesome. So we'll look at that more when we pull a card. But yeah. So there's two extra cards in this deck. So there's 78. 
the two extra major arcanas we'll take a look at, but love the design. And the <laughs> just to compare the sizes a little bit bigger, um, I have the owl tarot of the owls, which I realized I got a new deck and I didn't do a deck flip through. If you guys want to see this one, it's one of my favorites right now. I can show you that in another video. I use it often to pick a card. So if you've been subscribed or watching videos, you've seen it. So just to a comparison, a little bit wider and longer there. But yeah. Let's get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one at a time. Maybe zoom in a little bit. But here is the Fool card. So cute. I love it. So it looks like, is this considered a collage deck? I think so. But yeah, look, you can kind of tell it looks like a real cat. Look, there's a little dog in the background and a crow. <gasps> Dragonfly. My one a dragonfly got into my apartment the other day. I live right on water, so it can be a little buggy sometimes, especially in the summer, but it's starting to get hotter here. But I was able to capture it and get it out, which was nice, because I have really high ceiling, so I was worried about it, but it saved it. Um, Gator. I love this, so cute. <laughs> okay. And then the Magician, oh my god, I love that it has that little cocoon there. It's like going after it. Oh, there's a lot you can take here. So it is based on Rider Waite Smith. It has its own little touches here you can read intuitively. Oh, and there's a little caterpillar down there. Wow, I feel like you can just stare at these cards for a while. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and it has a rose. So it has a lot of the same features like roses and lilies and um, like the the tools like the magician has in the Rider Waite Smith, but just incorporating them a little bit differently. I like that. And then we have the High Priestess. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, this is a similar thing. Like it has the crescent moon, the veil. And the Empress, look at the little baby. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Totally looks like an emperor. A little apple above his head. Oh my god, these cats are so cute. <laughs> Look at that little face. Reminds me of Emmy. She's got, she's a calico. Oh my god, I hope there's a calico card. But um, she's got the little white there. On her face, a little key tied around his neck. The flowers featured in the cards are beautiful too. Oh, this is a good lover. So I like how their hearts connected there. Oh, and the duality too with white and black. That's cool. Yeah, I'm digging this so far. <laughs> Look at the chariot. Two dogs. <laughs> Yeah, look, there's beautiful flowers in each of the cards. I like the backgrounds too. And then we have strength, <laughs> the cat's taming a dog or a wolf. I love the butterflies. There's some tulips too. The hermit, oh, I love this. I'm going to say that. Am I saying the same thing for every card? Like, Ooh, they're not that cute. <laughs> and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. <laughs> Birds. Look, it's showing the heart of the bird above it. Interesting. There's like some books there it's sitting on. My cat loves to sit on my books. <laughs> wow, I'm a hanged man. So sweet little cats. I love them. Oh, look, there's a caterpillar up there. And some crows. I'm so excited to dig into this more. Aw, the death bird. Interesting. There's so much little like little details you can pick up on the more you look at this. 
this one. And this. I like the fish. <laughs> the devil got some like, temptation with the mouse and the cheese. <laughs> There's all these mouse traps all around it. Oh yeah. I like that. The tower. <laughs> right when I saw this, I wanted to start singing out loud Miley's song. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. Star, so sweet. This really has me wanting to look into like the meanings of tulips and other specific flowers more. I always had tulips in my house and around my house when I was growing up. Reminds me of my mom. The moon, aww. So cute. I love the vibrancy of the sun car. Those colors are beautiful. Judgment. I've heard good things about her crow tarot. Do you guys have that one? This is making me want it. I've been seeing crows a lot. Actually, oh my god, that's like the third time crows have come up today. Someone in a live stream I was in was talking about crows, and then I saw some right outside. Maybe it's like a sign. Interesting. Um, someone was asking what deity is associated with crows, and the first thing that came to my mind, I believe the Morgan is. Right, now we have the world. <laughs> the cat's holding up the world. is so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love cats so much. I just um, put together a new cat tree for my cat Emmy today. It's her birthday this month, and so I've got her some presents, including a new cat tree. It's like awesome. I love it so much. <laughs> and I posted on my Snapchat and my Instagram stories if you guys want to see, um, if you're watching this in real time. Uh, but I post her often, so <laughs> she's so cute. She's a little calico. But anyway, so those are the major arcanas, um, the traditional ones, and then we have two extra ones. The Unique to this deck, Unity. I'm curious what it says for the extras. Um, we're just gonna take our time with this deck today. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind. So yeah, it's dedica dedicated to Maynard, Zena, and Gabriel. These three cats find comfort in each other's company. Although each possess a different personality, relaxation washes over them when they are together. They accept each other in their space without defensiveness or hissing. They know that as a group, they are protected. It is our connections to others where we find our strength, our security, our sense of love and belonging. I love that. This is when unity arrives, look, at, um, look for relationships that create a sense of wholeness, where you are free to be as you are, your true self. I'll let you guys look at the card. Um, sorry. Uh, perfectly imperfect. When we are in a supportive group, we can act without fear of judgment or criticism. When you are surrounded by those who love and accept you, even when you are not showing your best side, or maybe say the less than appropriate thing out loud, a channel of trust is formed. There is a powerful supportive energy that comes from this connection, as it will create space for security and abundance to flow. And then the energy attributes were positive, allowing vulnerability within a group, joining forces with others, finding your community or support network, feeling free to express yourself without fear, and then negative. Um, taking a group or friends for granted, relying on others to make you feel complete, codependency, using the support of others to maintain bad habits. I like how she does, th does this with energy attributes and then positive and negative instead of saying like, oh, upright, reversed. Like, you know, that's how I would do that. Like if it was reversed, I'd take more of the negative energy into account. And then Grimalkin, the gray cat. <laughs> oh, look at that wise owl and a fox. Oh, and there's a bat too. In the full moon. This is dedicated to Missy. This deck is dedicated to the gray cat, the wise elder who bravely carved the path before us, a path that is easier for us today because of her contributions. If the Grimalkin should appear to you, it is because you could use healing and that will start with a dose of reality. Gr the Grimalkin leaves the playing up to the kittens as she prefers to watch over them, maybe offer a correction if a young cat oversteps their boundaries. It is time to resist impulses that come from immaturity and go inward. Are events happening to you or are you the one in control? The wisdom of the matriarch lives within us. 
Where the unity card brings trust with others, the Grimalkin card asks that you cultivate trust with yourself, with your intuition and your spirit. Have patience with the world around you. Listen for the whispers of the crone as she will help you find your peace, your power, and your unique magic. The positive energy attributes are allows events to take place with patience and grace, feeling drawn into nature, content with life, highly intuitive, steps back and allows others to make mistakes as to learn, offers healing and wisdom with a soft touch. The negative energy attributes are prefers to be isolated, retreats from society, clings to old ways of doing things, causes negative feelings or emotions as a result of being impatient or critical. Nice. I like these little additions. But now let's get started with the wand suit. <laughs> we have the ace of wands. I like that. You can see it's like the beginning of a path towards fruition. <laughs> He's walking on the wand. Nice. And the two of wands. Uh, Similarly, like still has the, the globe or the earth. You know, like in the right away, he's like holding it. I know I keep saying this, but I really do enjoy the inclusion of the flowers. Okay. <laughs> Three of wands. Four. <laughs> so cute. Look at the five of wands, it's got these little feathers. <laughs> I kind of see that as like a lot of distractions, maybe. Interesting. Oh, I'm so excited to start reading with this. But six of wands. Seven of wands. B. Mm -hmm. Fluff ball, eight of wands. Oh, look, the nine of wands, he's all wet. And we have the ten of wands. Eight. Knight of Wands. Here we have the Queen of Wands. Love this. <laughs> I love the colors. And here we have the King of Wands. You know, these two look pretty similar. So, so those are the wand suits. Let's move on to the cups. So you have the Ace of Cups. Oh, there's two cats on this one. The Two of Cups. Oh, this reminds me of the Lover's Card a bit. Didn't it have a lion like that? Let's take a look. But their hearts were connected. Now it's like the beginning, like they're, are they trying to like unite into one? Oh, I, I wanna like, okay, yeah, here. Hopefully you can see. It's okay if they're out of order now. Oops. Yeah, this, this looks like a little... I don't know. I, I'm not going to interpret all the cards now. <laughs> I like want to so bad, but we'll keep going because I know some people are like, come on, show me the cards. But, okay. The three of cups. Oh, look at them being all naughty together, knocking over things from the table. <laughs> oh my god, the next one, look. <laughs> four of cups. That is such a four of cups face. Oh my god. I love it. John, oh. <laughs> He's like, not nah, pleased. <laughs> oh, five of cups. My nose, it's a something naughty kind of face. Six of Cups. I really like this the coloring. Here. Seven of Cups. <laughs> what are in the cups? We got a fish, the world, a heart. That comes up a lot. Key, fire, bird. 
And then we have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> nine of Cups. I like how the Nine of Cups is a little chunky, like, because, you know, he's, like, well-fed. He's got all his desires met, like, he's satisfied with life right now. <laughs> got fish, birds. It's got a lot of the things kind of shown in the Seven of Cups action. Aww. Ten of Cups. Sweet. That was, like, Cat Paradise there. There's the page. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Oh, yep, the heart again. Oh, and the uh, cocoons there too. And then the Queen of Cups. Cocoon. No calicos yet. And then the King of Cups. Okay, let's move on to the swords now. Here we've got the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Oh, three of Swords. <laughs> A little heartbroken, like stuck in the tree. Four of Swords, so sweet. Five of Swords. There's a dog back there. Do you take a spot in the bed or something? <laughs> Six of swords. Interesting, there's like a city, like a skyline behind. Seven of swords. Oh, I got a bird. Eight. Trapped in. Nine of Swords. Oh, what's. Yeah, birds in his belly. Like, scared. Yeah, that's like. Looks like an anxious cat with its hair all sticking up. Oh, this is sad to see a uh, uh, cat with swords in it, but it goes with a ton of swords, you know? Alright, here's our page. Yeah, the knights will have the horses included. <laughs> Let's try and get that word. Here's our queen of swords. And the King of Swords, the Peacock. All right, let's move on to our last suit, the Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. They have white birds in the suit. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. I love seeing the cats together doing things. So cute. Oh, it's just waiting black. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles trying to hold down both, like all the mice, like wants them all. Oh my god, I really like this Four of Pentacles. Oh, five of Pentacles, I'm sad. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. And the eight. Beautiful. And the ten of pentacles. <laughs> Page of pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, maybe a horse, maybe a pumpkin. <laughs> oh man, I don't think there's any calicos, but that's okay. I have one in real life and I love her. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. 
And last but not least, the King of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, I love this deck, you guys. The only thing I'm bummed about is I didn't see any Calico Cats. Right? I know there's... Every cat is special and unique and beautiful, so it's okay. Um... I feel like my cat should be, she's like, should be a cat model. She's so cute. I know I'm biased, <laughs> but I could see her being on here and being like, what would she be? What would Emmy's card be? Hmm. Yeah. Let's shuffle. This is kind of big. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's see how it shuffles for me. My normal size hands, I guess I would say. Yeah, it's hard for me to like put my hands, like my fingers across. Like I can do it, but it's hard. Let's see. Like press it against me, like a little. Yeah, this is hard for me to shuffle like that. So if you have small hands, that's something. But I don't mind doing like the overhand shuffle, like, you know, like this. I'm zooming out a little bit, but I want to get it nice and shuffled for this. So, spirit, what message do you have for the collective right now? Well, let me see. Can I try and shuffle it sideways, maybe? Hmm. Do that a couple times. What message do you have? Oh, <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job shuffling. What message do you have for the collective? What message do you have for the collective? Oh, yay! <laughs> the three of, of cups. I almost said that it just came out. I love this. Look, when I was talking about like them being naughty, spilling over cups, having a good time. I love this energy. <laughs> this is like me right now. I'm having such a good time looking at these cards, talking to you guys. <laughs> but I feel like Spirit's inviting us to have fun, be silly, do something spontaneous, and maybe be a little bit more social, reach out to someone, like your partner in crime type energy. Let's take a look at what the, um, the book says for this card. But I feel like the main message, like it's coming to me, is just to like be silly and have some fun. Let loose a little bit. Okay. Three of Cups. Dedicated to Baby, Leroy, and Meow Meow. <laughs> the curious and exuberant cat. Oh, let me zoom in for you guys. By the way, I do like my own cat crystals. <laughs> um, the curious and exuberant cats of the Three of Cups join forces to engage in a little fun, some play, some camaraderie that strengthen their relationship. Sure, they may be making a great deal of a mess, but they are doing so together as a unified group. The Three of Cups represents the emotions you experience when working together in a cohesive group, one that you find enjoyable and stimulating. In this space, your feelings are nurtured, you can be vulnerable without fear, as compassion and understanding create the perfect atmosphere for self-expression to blossom. If you have an obstacle to hurdle or a big project that has been looming over your head and the Three of Cups appears, you may want to look to your community, to those who support you, your value, as they will be the key to your success. There is no reason for tasks to be burdensome or tedious when they can be fun and perhaps even an excuse to get together. Seek out those who fill your heart with friendship and who are more than eager to lend a hand. Not only will you overcome the obstacle, but you will have a fun time doing it as well. So the energy attributes for positive, joining together with others, working within a community for a common goal, building relationships. Negative, creating cliques or working with selective groups, partying instead of being productive. Ooh, interesting. But this is generally a very happy card. I know my mentor said um, when this card is in a spread, it like increases the happiness of the cards around it by like threefold. So I love this. Have some fun. Do something good for yourself today. Spoil yourself. Call a friend up. Laugh. <laughs> but that is what I have for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts on the deck. What do you think? I will link the uh, Amazon pre-order page down below. So again, this comes out um, in April. The exact date will be in the link below. So you can pre-order it $29.99 and get sent next month. But yeah, I think this is great. I can't wait to use it. Um, my only thing is I wish there was a Calico Cat. And it's a little hard to shuffle for me. Um, but other than that, I'm really loving this. I can't wait to use it some more. I love the vibrancy of it. I love cats so much. Like, are you kidding me? I love them. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this. Um, so, yeah. 
super happy. Let me know your thoughts. I can't wait to hear what you think. And I also got a new release, the Sacred Medicine Oracle. So this will be coming out soon. I'll do a full deck flip through. And I also got this little book here, the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle. Um, it's only 13 cards. It's like free, like quick questions on the go. I'm going to use this in a TikTok and a YouTube short today. Um, so you can see that there. And I also went through all 13 cards of this on my um, unboxing on Kitty's Boxes, which I'll link down below. But yeah, that's it today, guys. Can't wait to hear from you. I hope you are well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. And have an amazing day. I love you. Bye.